Welcome back to Make It Mental, everybody. What I want to show you today is uh, something you may or may not need either now or in the future. And there are different reasons for wanting to do this. Now, this is only applicable to Android phones. If you have an iPhone, I do not know what to tell you because I, I, I hate iPhones personally. They're so proprietary. You need a specialized charger, specialized headphones. Everything needs to be very specialized with an iPhone. So the main reason why you're here, this I'm going to call this escape and evade, but you may think you're being followed. You may think you're being watched, surveilled, whatever else. Your number one snitch is your phone. This is your number one snitch right here. Let me turn the phone the other way. Never mind, I can't turn the phone the other way because it, it cuts out what I want to show you guys here on this phone. Now, this is an old phone that you're looking at that is no longer on service. Even though it's got its SIM card removed, it still gives me Amber Alerts. All right? I use this phone sometimes to search the internet. Uh, what you want to do is go to your settings. And then go to applications. Again, your phone is your number one snitch of telling you where you are at any one given moment in time. Now, this is only going to help slow down somebody who may be following you for good reasons or bad reasons. Maybe it's insurance. Maybe it's child support. Maybe it's somebody, maybe it's a white man like myself trying to stalk you. Who knows? You know, and the Democrats think only white guys are capable of racism, evidently. So I'm going to show you how to avoid this. Unfortunately, uh, what I give to you guys can also be used for bad intentions as well. But I figure it's worth sharing to you guys. Applications. Just go through Every single one of them, all right, on your phone, go down here to permissions right here. Click on it. You see that? Location. Why does a weather, well, I can see why the weather needs your location, but we don't need that. I'm going to exit out of there. I'm going to exit out of there again. I'm going to go something, uh, how about the camera? Get out of the camera. We're going to go down here to permissions. Look at this. Why does your camera need your location? Why is it important? This camera function right here, every time you take a photo or even not take a photo, video, there could be somebody on the internet that can enable your camera without your knowledge while you're sitting there chit-chatting with your friends, eating dinner, playing video games, whatever the case may be. Somebody with a bad intent can locate you and decide, or maybe you're on vacation. Oh, well, he's on vacation. I can go steal from his house. Deny it. Microphone. They don't, why does a camera need, unless you're making a video like I'm currently doing right now, it doesn't need that shit. Deny. You storage and camera. That's all it needs. I'm going to go to a different one. Oh, Deny. And go to a different one. You may have to do Chrome. Chrome is a number one offender. It is Google is always listening to you. It is always listening to you. And you know, you may be talking about a uh, what kind of stuff you want to wear for summertime, and then all of a sudden you'll start seeing clothes for summertime in your commercials. So Google is always listening. Well, why does Google Chrome need all of this stuff? Why does it need your camera? It doesn't need your contacts. It definitely doesn't need your... Deny, see, look at that. It'll still work, I promise you. Deny it. It doesn't need your location. Unless you're trying to use GPS for, for driving from point A to point B, it doesn't need it. Microphone, it really doesn't need it unless you're doing voice-to-speech, and it doesn't need your storage. I mean, this may hinder some of the conveniences, but it doesn't need that stuff. And, and it's just another way for somebody else to find you. Let's check the clock just for heck of it. Permissions. Calendar and storage, no big deal. Go back and, yeah. Come on, backwards. Contacts. Let's go to permissions. Your contacts list, look at that. C camera, C 
contacts location. It doesn't need your fucking location. It doesn't need SMS. Deny it anyway. It doesn't need storage. I mean, none of this stuff is needed. Deny it. Deny it. Unless you absolutely need it, deny it. it especially location. Location is a number one deal. Well, what about the drive? Now, your particular phone may be entirely different. Eh, camera, well, that's no big deal there. Storage. Fake book. I haven't enabled fake fake book in a long time or use it in a long time. Permissions, no permissions, and it doesn't let me change it. Evidently, I've never set it up on that phone, so it's, like I said, it's been years since I've used fake book. Anyway, gallery. This is where you store your photos. Again, why does it need location? It doesn't need your location. Who the fuck cares? It doesn't need your contacts. It doesn't need your phone. It doesn't need your your instant messaging, and it doesn't, well, it might need your storage, but in this particular phone, because I'm not using it, it doesn't need that shit. All right, this is just for demonstration, but you want to do this on your real phone. If you think you're being followed for whatever reason, for who knows, look, again, calendar, cameras, and this is just Gmail, microphone. Why does it need your microphone for Gmail? Why does it need your phone? Why does it need your camera? Why does it need your calendar? Uh, I can see contacts, maybe storage, maybe. Yeah. Go back again. Come on. Google is the number one offender, though. Body sensors. Look at that. Why do you need body sensors? Body sensors can tell the person that's tracking you, following you, if you're walking running, driving a car, in a race car, in an airplane, on a bus, in a train, they can tell what kind of vehicle or how fast you're going and where your elevation is. Deny it. Deny the camera. Why does Google Play need your camera? I don't know. I mean, maybe it doesn't need your contacts. It doesn't need your microphone. It doesn't need your phone. And it doesn't need your instant messenger. And maybe storage if you're downloading a game. Back again. Another version of Google Play. This time it's got location again. Deny all that shit. Just go through step by step every one of your applications. Maps. You might want to go ahead and disable that one too. Because that is another way of getting your location. Deny it. But there's one other one that they can pinpoint you within six feet. Let me go back here to, let's see, connections, Wi-Fi. You want to turn this off. Every time you walk into a building or before you're about to walk into a building, turn that motherfucker off. Turn it off because your phone is set by default to go into Wi-Fi mode. And when your phone goes into Wi-Fi mode, it automatically connects to a router. That router can pinpoint your location to within six feet to allow somebody else to track your location, whether you're in Walmart, the mall, Target, whatever the gas station, whatever the case may be. You may think that's a good thing, it's convenient, but it is another way of finding you. Use your mobile location. This will make their search more difficult. All right. I hope that helps you guys out. Hopefully it goes to the right people. Have a good day.